Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. In a previous video, I talked about leaving the Tomoe River paper behind and I also said there that I ordered a bunch of them before I knew I wasn't going to use them for my planner pages anymore. I will link that video down below. Well, that order has already arrived and I'm sharing the unboxing with you and also taking this chance to share with you the papers that I have considered using and what I eventually decided to use. First, here is the order of Tomoe River paper from Kawaii Tokyo on Etsy. I have a review of her store in my channel and I will leave a link for you in the description box and I will also link to her Etsy shop. I ordered eight packs of the Raimi da Vinci Bible sized, which is the same as personal sized paper in the cream colored blank version. Each pack has 100 sheets and one pack would have been good for about a month's worth of my day on two pages, which includes the extra sheets that I tip into each week plus the Hyperdex color key. I have shown how I made and assembled my planner pages using Tomoe River paper and I will link the videos in the description box. Kawaii Tokyo was also nice enough to include this wonderful little gift with my order plus a handwritten note. And these are really adorable and I think she's really really sweet to send them to me. These are very small tubes of hand cream in different fragrances and they look so cute and it even has a little pouch. I will definitely use these. So now I have eight packs of these. These are labeled the DR338L, but I don't really know what to use them for right now. I will hold on to them though. I know that somewhere down the line, I will find use for them. Having a stash of Tomoe River paper is never ever a waste. Now in my video where I talked about shifting away from the Tomoe River paper, I showed that I took apart a Midori MDA5 notebook and used the paper for that, to make my planner pages for August. I love the Midori MD paper, but it's not cost efficient to keep buying notebooks and then later tearing them apart. So I looked for the Midori MD paper pad in A4 size and I found one in Scribe as a Mega Mall branch. I had to call a few Scribe branches to find which one had this. This costs 495 pesos and it has 90 A4 sized sheets. And because this is the paper pad, I was expecting that there would be glue or some kind of binding on one side of the pad so I can flip the pages over. But it turns out there is glue on two sides of the pad as you can see here. A tiny part of the non-glued corner has been cut in order to show which corner to pull in order to tear a sheet from the pad. Now, if you use exactly A5 paper for your planner pages and you want to cut these down into half from A4 to A5, this missing corner might be a problem, but I use personal sized inserts, so this won't be a problem for me. And here I am counting the number of sheets to confirm that it's really 90 sheets inside that pad, and turns out there is exactly 90 sheets inside that pad. Another paper that I have considered is the Rodia. This costs 279 pesos from National Bookstore. It's the blank A5 pad in cream. The label says it has 70 sheets. I do like the color of this. The cream is deeper and warmer than the cream color of the Midori MD paper pad. But of course, the deciding factor would be the performance of the paper with the pens that I use every single day on my planner pages, so I tested them out on both papers. I used a Pilot Metropolitan with an extra fine nib that was taken from a Pilot penmanship. I have a video about the nib swap and I will link it down below in the description box. The Orange Metropolitan still has the fine nib that it came with and then I also used a Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pen as well because I use these brush pens on my Hyperdex every day. On the Rodia, there was no bleed through and very minimal show through for all three pens. I used the same three pens on the Midori MD paper pad and I have noticed that they perform the same with the fountain pens but show different performance with the Zig Pen. 
the zig pen looked a little bit more splotchy and uneven with the rodea but smoother on the Midori MD paper pad. Now I know watercolor is not supposed to look super duper even and the major reason why I actually like watercolor in general is because they look uneven. It's very artsy to my eyes and I like that my Hyperdex gets that look from Zig brush pens. But the look of the Zig on the Midori MD looks more polished. There is still that watercolor look, that uneven look that I think is very pretty, but is generally better on the Midori MD. And it should because the Midori MD paper is really designed for use with wetter media. I do have a review of the Midori MD A5 notebook and I will link it down below for you. That paper there is the exact same one used in the paper pad. The performance of the paper was a deal maker for me. I knew I would be going with a Midori MD paper pad at this point, but I also wanted to clarify the cost difference between both papers. The Midori MD paper pad in A4 size cost 495 pesos and has 90 A4 sheets, which can make 180 A5 sheets, which comes down to 2 pesos and 75 centavos per A5 sized sheet. On the other hand, the Rodea cost 279 pesos and can make 70 A5 sheets, which comes down to 3 pesos and 98 centavos per sheet. It is much cheaper to go with a Midori MD paper pad in A4 than the Rodea A5 pad that I already have. Now I know there is an A4 sized cream blank Rodia pad somewhere, but apparently it's not readily available. And I don't want to have to obsess about replenishing my paper supply every time. I have mentioned this in my video about the things that make my planning system easy to sustain, which is also known as planner piece. I will link that video down below. But anyway, I decided to go with the Midori MD A4 paper pad. In my next video, I will share with you how I made my planner pages for September using this paper pad. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel and click the bell button so that you can be notified once that video is up. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, just leave them for me in the comments and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye!